Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the DB Power Car Jump Starter. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box in packaging right here, walking us through some of the key features for this jump starter. So it's showing a battery capacity of 17,200 milliamp hours or 63.64 watt hours. The peak current is 1600 amps with the starting current of 800 amps. And it does feature a 12 month, one year warranty. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have a customer service and contact card followed by our user guide and manual walking us through everything we need to know about this product. So our tech specs right there, how to jumpstart your car. Everything's very detailed, nice diagrams, how to charge your phone or tablets, how to use the LED lights, how to recharge the device. And then we have our indicator lights right here and what everything means on your screen, a Q&A section, and we have more customer service and contact information. Next up, you can see we have a USB type C, to USB type A charging cable. We have our jumper clamps right here. You can see how that's gonna connect to our device. Here's the device itself. Check it out with the DB Power logo and branding. We have a red emergency light right here. We have a built-in compass. You can see it from all different sides and angles. Here's our built-in flashlight. Here it is from the back side, jump starter portable charger with our model information. Then you can see from this side with our LCD screen, our power button, two USB outs. One's a smart five volt USB. The other one's just a regular five volt USB. We have our USB type C in and out in parentheses. So that's gonna be what we'll use to charge the device on and off switch. And then you can see where our jumpers are gonna connect right here. Last but not least, they gave us a nice carry and storage case for this. Perfect to just leave in your glove box or your trunk. And they even have your jump starter capacity and vehicle checklist right here, depending on if it's gasoline or diesel, they have you covered. You can see we can remove this flap as well to where the device is going to be stored. Now let's go ahead. Let's try it out. First up, you can see we're using the device to charge these three devices right here. So all three of them are showing the charging status indicator. We have both USB type A ports used and the USB type C port. Again, that one's marked in and in parentheses out. So we can use that to recharge our device as well as to charge up USB type C devices. So it's working great charging multiple devices at the same time. In case you're wondering with this large of a battery capacity, you can charge your phone, you know, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven times. Same with cameras. I mean, your smartwatch and your earbuds, obviously with the smaller capacity batteries, you can charge them even more times. So wireless earbuds, you might be able to get 30 times of charging out of a device like this. Tablets two to three times or so, give or take, depending on which tablet you're using. But it's doing a great job charging up multiple devices. Now with the lights turned off, you can see we're trying out the flashlight right here. To turn it on or off, just hold down the power button for a couple of seconds until it comes on or until it shuts off. Then we can press the power button and we can cycle between the different modes. So you can see what we have right here. And then we'll press it again. And now you can see we have our second mode. This is just gonna be our strobe. And then we can press it again. So then we have our solid light right here. So you can see it shining on the table. It's gonna be bright enough to see what's out in front of you. Or if you need to use this on the side of the road, you'll appreciate having some extra light. But again, we have three different settings. So just our static light. Then we have the SOS. So you can see that right here. And then we just have our strobe. And then if we want to activate the red lights, we're gonna double tap the power button. And you can see now we have our red lights activated as well. And this can stand up too, which is nice. If you did wanna put this at the side of the road or on the back of your car so people can see you, you have a couple of options with how you would want to position that with the nice emergency red blinking light. Now we're in the car and I wanted to show you guys that the car won't start on its own, so we will need to use the jump starter. So here we go, watch what happens. You can see it's not turning over as we try to start it. Now let's go ahead, let's give it a jump. So now we're at our car's battery compartment and you can see everything that we have going on right here. So we connected the red to the red and the black to the black. Right here it was displaying our voltage, it was 13.9. So you'll see a nice readout right there. Now we're ready to go ahead and start the car. 
So there you go, you can see everything works great. So as you can see, this product just works. It's very simple, straightforward to use, power it on, connect the cables, then connect the red with the red and the black with the black, and that's it. You're ready to start your car. It'll start right up, then you can remove it and you're all set and ready to go. So it's really nice to have these in your car in case of an emergency. Also, don't forget it's very practical with the built-in USB port so we can charge our mobile devices. Because remember, if your car battery's dead, and your phone battery's dying, what are you gonna do to charge it? So it's nice that we can use this to power our mobile devices as well. And we have the built-in flashlight and we have the built-in emergency light. So if you're stranded on the side of the road, you can always put that out for your protection. So it's a simple device and I highly recommend getting one of these and keeping it in your car for emergencies. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.